So I wanted to bring you back for this part because I'm still going through the process, but to show you something else that's going on that you'll probably notice. Um, I'm going to jump over to 30 here. All right, that's good. So I'm looking at my uh, gamma response and as you can see it went off and that's because I adjusted the RGB to be a lot tighter. So let me try 50. So you remember I said don't touch the green. Well now that I have the colors lined up and I'm only at 0.2 delta error, that's really great. Uh, but now that I have it across the whole scale for the RGB, it did change the overall luminance. So now is it, it's okay to adjust the green, but I'm going to adjust it in conjunction with the red and blue to try to keep the delta error low. So if I'm looking at 50 over here on my gamma, I see I need it to be brighter because going lower is brighter. So I'm going to open up my app, look for the one that corresponds to 50% and try increasing the brightness a little bit for green. As you can see, it, it moved a little bit. But now if you look over here on the left, my uh, delta error went up and the other colors don't match. So I'm going to adjust red and blue in equal amounts um, to try to get it back as close to 100% across all of them as I can. And I'm just going to keep moving back and forth like that. So now I adjusted the green to try to get it closer with the gamma. And now my red and blue are pretty low, so I'm going to bump those up. So there we go. Pretty good. Now it's very close to the target and I'm still in line and I just so happen to have a better Delta error that may or may not happen depending on how tight you can get these numbers together. Um, let me show you another one. Let me go to 70. So now I'm looking right here and I can see that it's too dark because it's up too high. So it's too dark from the reference. So I need to increase all three colors evenly, evenly while getting it to get it brighter. So I'm going to go to the one that corresponds to 70 and bump the green a little bit to start with. And then I'll bump the red and blue to try to get them all at 100% or as close as I can. So as you can see, this isn't a super quick process, um, but I think it's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's the kind of thing I nerd out over, but so now I'm a little bit dark, so that's fine. Just, but we're getting closer. So I lowered the green and correspondingly lowered the red and blue. And now I just got to get them back matched up to about hundred percent each right there. A lot better. So now as you can see on the right, my thing is lining up pretty well. And again, this is an auto scale. If I go to scale gamma one to three let me stop the measurement so it responds a little better uh we were just adjusting 70 i believe you can see it's pretty darn imperceptible um if i bring up my full rgb di diagram 70 percent look at how tight look at how tight the whole thing is now there's a couple areas i'm going to work on a little more but basically right now what i'm trying to do is line up the gamma a little better and if I'm on scale one to three, the normal scale, it looks excellent. If I go to auto adjust, it just zooms it in. It fits the screen better. So it looks like, oh, that's terrible, but it's really not. That's really negligible difference. But I personally want to get it tighter. So why not? That's what I'm going to do. So you saw me do that a couple times. I'm just going to finish up doing that so that I can get this yellow line, the luminance matched up as close to the target as possible while keeping all of them at around 100%. So let me do that and I'll be back again. <laughs> 